Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of my expectations for the assignments this week. So we have assignment 4 and assignment 5, um, and I wanted to just give you a little rundown of what I'm expecting of you in order for you to receive full credit for both of these assignments. Um, first and foremost, it was very nice to meet you via, uh, via your introductions and your videos. Um, so I really like the video format as much as I've received feedback from you liking my video explanations. So I'm going to continue to give you these weekly. So for assignment four, we're going to be looking deeper into standardized testing. And you're going to need to read the textbook content and also read the supplementary content on standardized testing just to kind of familiarize yourself a little bit better on all of the issues around standardized testing and specific standardized tests and then the various reliability and validity issues that come along with that. So for this assignment, I want you to do a connect, extend, and challenge. Um, so the purpose of this assignment is really to tap into your prior knowledge of standardized testing, be it from an education or an educator's point of view, or maybe a student's point of view if you remember the standardized tests that you had to complete as a student. So what I want you to do is first um, connect. You are going to um, access how the ideas and information presented are connected to what you already knew. So this is where you're accessing your, your prior knowledge in this area. Um, you can add pictures or any kinds of artifacts if you want to use them to explain yourself. Um, and this is going to be in video format, so I need to just preface that. I want you to do this connect, extend, challenge activity in a YouTube video. So if you might want, like when I explain my assignments to you, I use a board, I use some kind of visuals. If you want to do the same thing, uh, please feel free. So you're going to connect, then you're going to extend. What new ideas did you get that extended or built upon your knowledge that you already had into new directions? Like how did it make you think differently about standardized testing? And lastly, you are going to challenge. Um, what is still a challenging issue or confusing for you uh, in respects to standardized testing or the issues that are surrounded by it? What questions do you still have about it? So essentially, you are going to access your prior knowledge. You're going to extend your knowledge into new thinking areas. And then you are going to talk about the challenges that you still have, the confusion that you still might have. What I would like for you to touch base on are these points. <clears throat> I want you to discuss um, the discuss specific tests. So I want you, within your textbook, you're going to see that they mention all of these standardized tests. I want you to get into uh, the various standardized tests, so describe them, make sure that you are demonstrating your knowledge in these areas, and then I want you to discuss the issues or the strengths with reliability and validity. So you're probably going to want to first define reliability and validity, which you can find in your book, and then talk about the issues and strengths for those specific tests that you're talking about. Um, lastly, I want you to discuss the assessments that are considered best practices in early childhood. So standardized tests, every test has their problems, has their strengths. What does research consider best practices for assessment in early childhood? Um, okay, so you're going to be touching on all of these areas in your Connect, Extend, and Challenge. So these are the criteria that I need you to touch base on. So make sure that you talk about a few different assessments that are mentioned in your book. Make sure that you talk about the issues and strengths with reliability and validity, and then best practices. And in that format, you're going to do the Connect, Extend, and Challenge. Um, you are going to put your YouTube video on the discussion board and respond to at least one peer using the Dialogue Toolkit rubric. For assignment five, there's two parts to this assignment, and this is on reporting standardized test results. So before you were talking about what standardized tests are, um, how they are valid, how they are reliable, what the issues are, and now you're going to talk about actual teacher reporting of standardized tests. So for the first portion, you're going to create a Venn diagram. And I drew a Venn diagram right here. This is how it has to look, two overlapping circles. So the first one is <clears throat> norm reference tests, and the second one is criterion reference tests. So in this space, you're going to put characteristics that are just 
uh, for norm reference tests, so characteristics that belong to norm reference tests. Here, in this space, you're going to put characteristics that belong to uh, criterion reference tests. And then in the middle, you are going to discuss the characteristics that are shared or common between both norm reference and criterion reference tests. For part two, you are going to interview two different educators. Um, the first will be an elementary school teacher or counselor, and the second will be an uh, elementary school early childhood uh, educator of children with special needs. What I need for you to do, and this doesn't need to be face-to-face, -face, it could be Skype, it could be you know, phone conversation. Uh, if there are students that have issues accessing or finding either the, um, the ESE educator or the non-ESE, uh, I can set up a um, Adobe Connect meeting where I can meet with all of you and you can interview me. Uh, I was a teacher in both ESE and non-ESE, so I have this information. If that is your last resort, then we can figure it out. I'll accommodate because I know it's difficult to find these educators within a week. So when you do find these educators, you're going to interview them and you're going to ask specific questions about, first, the, the elementary school or counselor. I want you to talk about how standardized tests are used and reported, especially in the areas of how they report the test scores to parents. So is this done through meeting? Is it done through notes? Is it done through email? Uh, go into how they actually report and explain the standardized test scores to parents. Then for the teacher with special needs, I want you to discuss and ask them about how these tests are used to identify children uh, with special needs, how they're used to create um, IEPs or individualized education plans, and um, how what, reflect on the process of uh, the IEP development and how the test scores are used for IEP development. So talk about that process just a little bit. So then after you get all of this information, you're going to develop a report. And don't be scared of that word. It just means a Word document, double-spaced. Um, and I want you to tell me how to best report the standardized test scores um, for both cases. And then what plans can be developed to improve these standardized test scores. So I know that that's kind of going off into left field. But this is where you need to really start thinking and tapping into the information that you've collected how would you improve these scores if you were a teacher in this classroom? So you are going to put all both of those in a Word document, just the, the Venn diagram and also your report, and you are going to um, save it and submit it under the Dropbox rubric. So both of these assignments are due by Sunday, 11.59 p.m. Um, I'm available for questions or calls, so please do contact me if you have any issues, and I'm looking forward to seeing them.